Nearly every town or city has a musical identity these days, however according to local musicians, the scene in Canterbury is dead. Tom Bolton plays in multiple bands in the Canterbury scene, and as well as that he also books and promotes other bands at the Lady Luck Bar. Tom has some less than positive views about the Canterbury scene. Uh, it's dead. There isn't one. I personally, that's that's how I feel about it. Lady Luck's actually one of probably only two that actually have alternative sort of music on, like heavier stuff, sort of rockabilly, metal, sort of punk, ska, reggae. We sort of we literally have all sorts in here, just because I think people are crying out for it in Canterbury. According to Tom, the demand is there. However, more needs to be done in order for the scene to establish itself. We need to bring names here and make people realise that Canterbury is only a train journey away from London and that, you know, big bands are willing to travel here and they're going to leave, like, their mark and stuff and the people can actually realise that Canterbury's a decent destination for live music. Dan Tompkins is a second year music student at Canterbury Christchurch. He comes from a slightly different musical background to Tom, however he shares similar viewpoints. Um, I think it's easier to be a musician um, if you're more classically trained, but if you're looking to be something more modern, maybe rock bands or anything like that, I think it's quite a, a tough scene down here. Dan also believes that Canterbury needs more venues that cater to different tastes in music. I don't know, maybe like a small arena kind of thing or just something where you could have more modern bands and you've got a lot more for a music scene down here. Clearly musicians in Canterbury believe there is a possibility for the scene to be revived. However, in order to do this, a lot needs to be done. But with people like Tom representing alternative tastes, there is always the chance for a revival.